lot of the themes for our projects lie at the intersection of signals and systems and probability reasoning with connections to human health and biology. And we have a new added twist of technology development. And the miniaturization of sensors and circuits and wireless transceivers all embedded into small flexible materials that can curve and intersect with the human body. A great example of how electrical engineering has benefited medicine is in cardiology, or if we take a look at the electrocardiogram, the ECG, doctors can take that and interpret it and precisely infer what's going wrong with your heart. What I got interested in a few years ago is why can't we apply those same principles to understand other aspects of the bodily function, which right now are very qualitative and guess and check. It turns out that just how your heart generates electrical rhythms, so does your digestive system. We recently published work where we demonstrated that a lot of the information that you pick up invasively, we can actually measure non-invasively by applying similar types of procedures that are used in traditional EE areas such as radar. We put multiple electrodes over the abdomen and we can infer the direction of arrival. We can infer speed. So a lot of these core EE principles we're applying to non-invasively and objectively assess the gastrointestinal system and there's a big unmet need to do this. I like to keep my connection with Michigan. I've had four Michigan undergraduate students come to my research lab over the summer. Our research group is very interdisciplinary and very diverse. We have some students who have a bioengineering bachelor's degree, uh, but we also have students with a, uh, a degree in economics, a degree in electrical engineering, a degree in computer science, and a degree in mechanical engineering. There are core foundational principles that are important for all, any student that works with me. So things like uh, signals and systems perspective, uh, optimization, probability, those types of things I require all of my students to be a part of no matter where they come from. I don't think that many people get to say that they have a job that they don't really treat or feel it is a job because we're having fun, we're interested in solving fun problems, we get to build new technology and we get to work with doctors and with patients. Definitely the best life decision I made was, was coming here to go to college and not only ECE but the whole experience that Michigan provides.